was gonna say no she's already doing all those conclusions oh it was nice to meet you thank you for the post and blah, blah, blah. i'm like this game is serious right now i'm back again we're gonna talk about the final two episodes of love is blind japan episode 10 and 11. no so the last time when i left so we were talking that we have four we have four couple left at the end of episode nine um, we have Ryotaro meeting um, um, Motomi parents, so that was the cliffhangers. So episode 10 begin with that meeting, like Ryotaro is meeting uh, Motomi parents. So what happened, we have like uh, Motomi family, we have her sister, her sister name is Mari. We have her dad and her mom who came to see uh, um, Motomi say uh, her dad haven't come to term yet about this lady. Mari asked Yotaro what does he like about her sister. He's talking about like how they met like in the pod and all those type of things. Like they are comfortable around each other, like they have similar value, they like they fit each other well. Her dad said that he came because that was his daughter's decision. He wanted to respect his decision. That's why he accepted to meet uh, Ogretao. I really like how the dad say, yeah, I, I, I respected my, my daughter's decision, so I came to meet you. Um, I love that the family initially liked him, like they were joking at her. We thought it was going to be like a tough meeting between the family, but at the end it was like a fun like meeting. They were joking about they like him, and his joke. They joke about his hair. Uh, uh, Motomi said that he had blonde hair. Uh, he dyed his hair. He said he's dyed his hair because he wanted to have like a, he wanted to have a good impression of him. Um, they just say if you keep dye your hair you're gonna become um, bald i just love how they were talking about that that was just so amazing <laughs> and then the next section we have midori and wataru that they both like to exercise and we noticed that uh midori uh wataru say he's very committed like he really keep it up he keep, keep up with her like they do all those exercise and activity hey he lost six kilogram i was like oh wow i noticed his face was thin i noticed that so he did lost some weight i'm like i'm proud of you <laughs> you <laughs> and then the next session they show shintao and i don't know <laughs> they were having fun at the amusement park and i don't know gave him a gift like a panty that she made so she pen i think in her free time, she loved art and everything. Uh, and they say that they finally got a little bit closer, so that was like they just hanging around. And we have Kayo and Misaki at the next session that they show. They show that they are talking about the lady who they we invited, just like a kind of conversation like that. Um, I think Kayo see that. She talked to her dad. He see that the past is the past. So, so she she have like that issue with her dad. So she, they still have like that disconnect with her dad. So, and I noticed something. There's always a weird music when they are talking. I'm like, I don't know this girl. This girl, there's something about them that I don't get it. Yeah. They never get deeper. This their conversation, everything is always superficial. So that's what I noticed. Okay, the next section they show me Tommy and Ryotaro one more time. Uh, Ryotaro is talking to Mitomi to uh, to meet his parents. So he's taking Mitomi to meet his parents. You know, the last time uh, Ryotaro met Mitomi parents and sister. Now he's taking her to meet his parents. Um, I said, oh, those people are very serious. They meet each other family. Uh, her mom, uh, uh, Mot uh, Motomi family seems to like Yotaro. And also, she took her to her, uh, his parents. 
Eh, ich bin auch sehr happy von ihm. Das ist so auch happy. Ich bin auch so happy. Ich glaube, ich habe das Sport auf Sport of both family. I'm happy about that. Uh, Ryota will say that he is in love. He doesn't think that we change, that feeling will change. So he's happy about his connection with Midomi. With Midomi. And the next section they show is Shintao and I don't know. <clears throat> they went to like a fishing place. That's actually where uh, Shintao grew up. It was like a traditional house. Around the side, like a bag, a fishing place. They have a very like a good place like to actually visit. I don't know met uh, Shintao younger brother. They look alike so much. But the younger brother look kind of older than the older brother. <laughs> His younger brother look Oh, the baby look like physically they are the same, same height, same facial expression. It's just that the younger brother, his hair a little bit white, so he look older. I don't know she wear like the horn shoes to go to that place because they needed to climb to see all those beautiful uh, traditional place, and she was wearing the horn shoes. So now we finish with those like little like meeting the band, meeting the sibling. It's time to move on to the bachelorette party. So we have four bright and we have four comb. So the four bright are Midori, uh, Ayono, Mitomi, and Kayo. And the four comb or the four bright to be and the four comb to be. The four going to be are uh, 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 Wataru, Misaki, Shitao, and Ryotao. Oh my god, me and I can pronounce his name. And also, like, the good thing, there was not just Foga and they were not just Foga, the other people joined them, so they were just having fun together. And I noticed that among the women, Kayo looks like she's in the edge of crying. She looks sad. You can feel that. You feel that even when the other get talking about the time that they have with the, their fiance, they, they look happy. But her, her conversation with Misaki, her conversation with her fiance, has been so swift as labor. It didn't really move. So that's why you can feel how unhappy she is um, all the, almost all the time. So then we move to three days before the wedding and I say dun 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 what if something happened? Okay. Uh, Kayo and Misake having the talk, you know what I mean? They never have a serious conversation. The first con I took a, anyway the conversation, the serious conversation that they show well, when she was talking to him about her dad, and the way he responded, it was like such a sweet first level. She, she pretty much came and break up with him. She already had her mind made. Uh, she said that she cannot go to the ceremony feeling this way. So she was telling you know, I don't feel that this can be for me. I don't want to bring my family to this. And I said, that's the first time I saw Misaki look deeper. He was a little bit sad. You know, he never showed signs. So I was smiling and even when he talked, I'm like, I couldn't take him seriously. Most of the time. And I said, I'm glad she made that decision for herself. I'm glad she came up with the decision. I said, oh, he does look sad. Yeah, he, after she packed the stuff and left, he stayed a little bit in the apartment that they gave. You know, the apartment they gave to all the couple, he stayed a little bit there. And that was about it. And we see, we started with eight couple for the Sapier. Another one is gone. Shh. Yes, now we have three couple left. Three couple left. And we move to the next section with Midori and Wataru. Midori asked Wataru what he would do if she said no. Wataru was so silent, he couldn't answer the question. Maybe he answered by the cut just for the suspense. I don't know, you know, editing. We are almost there. That was three days before the wedding. All those even Kyle, we should break up. And they saw Olivia, Midori and Wataru. And we have the last day. You know, the way they will be the next day. Uh, Yota will decide to do uh, uh, Motomi hair. Her fiance 
is a hair dresser, he's a hair stylist. So he says he's gonna do her hair, his her hair every single day. She's gonna pay by doing she's gonna cook for him. She loves cooking. He said, Oh, okay. They, they just have fun, like they look so happy, always happy, yeah. And we have the wedding day, the wedding is here. So we're gonna have three weddings, like you see one bride and whom are already gone, then they make it. We have three weddings. The first wedding that they show was Ayono and Shintaro wedding. Um, she said that she's almost certain about her answer. I don't know what her answer is, if it's a no or a yes. We're gonna find out. So Shintaro went to see Ayono before the wedding. Bad sign. He came to see her to talk to her. Uh, he said he's having a second thought about the wedding. I said, oh, Chintao changed his mind? Oh my God, I wasn't expecting that for him. But I thought it would be the opposite way, but listen, that's not all. So, so he talked to her, he said that he hushed her into this process. It feels like he forced uh, her decision. Like, everything is done, it's not organic. He kind of rushed her into this process. So he doesn't feel like he is ready to actually go through the waiting. Shinta was so surprised when he said that maybe I would try to protect herself. You know, he couldn't even meet her parents. They didn't even want to meet him. And good surprise, she said, Oh, she said she was also gonna say no. Shintaro was surprised. <laughs> he was surprised how, how she didn't even feel sad. How she didn't like, it's like, no, I was also gonna say no. The poor guy, he really liked her. He was surprised because she didn't even feel any pain coming to her eye. He said that when he said no to her, because he felt that he rushed in the process, but in his mind, he thought they were still going to agree to be see each other. So I think that's the point he was going, because he couldn't even meet the parent. In his mind, it's like, oh, I'm going to say no, because I don't want to put pressure on her, but we can still come to an agreement, see what we can do after the wedding, or maybe move slowly, still getting to know each other. She said, oh, I was going to say no. She's already doing all those conclusions. Oh, it was nice to meet you. Thank you for the person. I'm like, this girl is serious right now. I didn't trust her one bit. I had my dog the whole time. And I'm so happy I nailed this. I nailed this one. I nailed this one. That's like, ah. You see, you were so surprised by this, her answer. She didn't feel any pain. She didn't feel any remorse when she felt relief. It's like, I don't know, she felt so really and we say we have two couple left. Let's see. Let's see if my prediction gonna make sense or let's see how many people we move to this process or are we gonna have zero couple? Let's see. Okay, and then we have the second wedding. So what do we do? We scratch another couple. So the Shinta Ayono couple is gone. We have two couple left. They took one of the two couple we have. Uh, Motomi and Yota are waiting first and she's getting ready. She says she's never. I'm like, I'm happy both parents support this person because it might help to call the couple also feel confident in the decision. Um I said, they both parents are here, um, so the dad said he's happy, he's here. You know the dad didn't want, it, like, didn't want her to do this at the beginning, he wasn't sure and everything, but he said he still want to support his daughter, he said he's going to walk her down the aisle, he walked her down the aisle, so the ceremony was like by the water, outside waiting. So beautiful. I said the wedding was held by the English speaker and, and Japanese speaker guy, so he was like, maybe American or European, but he speak Japanese well. Kufu to ste tomo ni jinse o ayumu koto wo chikau no ka? Arui wa kekkon to yu sentaku o sezu, wakare o sugeru no ka? 
to, I'm learning Japanese right now. I have one speak Japanese, I think. I was so happy. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, the wedding started. And, oh my god, they look so good, so beautiful. That he's wearing white, she's wearing white. He is nervous, she is nervous. He said, Yes, she's like going, she said, I got scared for a moment, guys. I got scared. We have a win. Yes, the girl said yes. She said, "Do you remember when we talk about in the pod?" And I said that I was gonna make you happy. I was sincere about that. Yes, I wanna be with you. I don't get the conversation. Yes, I'm marrying you. Oh, they made it. Oh, they were so cute. I can't even believe they are so cute. I predicted that they were gonna be together. I was so right. I'm so happy that I met this one. So a beautiful couple. And we have the last wedding. The most anticipated wedding. Is it gonna be the Jessica and Matt type of uh, wedding or is it gonna be the Lauren type of wedding? I don't know. It might go both ways, guys. It might go both ways. Let's see. Okay. So on the wedding is so what I will say that you know is attractive and he's he said that she's attractive outside and inside. He really, really, really love her. Her mom, her mom is sad. Um, um, Midori mom is so happy for her. They are like in a dressing room. And her mom say, uh, uh, her mom in her mind she hope Mido is not gonna say no. Um, but her mom like I'm gonna spoil your decision. If you choose to be with him, I will spoil you. If you choose not to be with him, I will also spoil you. I love that. She doesn't pressure her. She let her make her decision up to the end. Also, they show what I parent. I love her. He's here with his parents. It's always that. Oh, it's a process. So she might see. I don't know. At the end, they're gonna ask us if you say yes or no. They say that. I, I feel sorry that if she say no, so we're gonna have the ceremony. So if you say if she say no, uh, I'm sorry about that. So he talked to his parent like so. It can happen. She can say yes, she can say you, they understand. The parents are supporting him, so they are there to support him while they say happy ending or not so much a happy ending for him. And I said, wow, talk about the money. She have a beautiful wedding. The decoration was amazing. It was like a real freaking wedding. Okay, it was a real wedding. It was a, it was a wedding. The child, everything was like her dress, everything. Okay, let's see what happened. Okay, she said something before the wedding. She said that she want to tell him how she feel and return to the real life, to the real world. She's like, I just want to be done with this thing and just go back to my normal life. I'm like, I'm still watching it, I'm never, it might be yes, it might be no, I don't know. I, I love the fact that nobody will put in pressure on her, and I love the f whatever decision she choose to make, whether she be with him or not be with him, I'm supporting her. So it's her decision, whatever decision she choose, she has support from her family, it's her decision, even her, her fiancé support her, like in her decision. He work with his mom. Uh, Mi uh, Midori, she's like walking the aisle with her dad. She said to her, dad, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. He was just looking at her like so beautiful. They are both nervous, and and the the guy asked him, so are you taking her to be your wife or life and blah blah blah, you know all those things. He said yes without any hesitation. He was a daunting for me. He only showed him how much he loved her. And they asked her, there was a long pause. I was like, oh my god, this is it. Let me go. I was like, I made him whatever decision you make, no question. And then we have, she start talking. Um, I like the fact that she says she doesn't know much about waiting, but she knows that she doesn't want to live for life. She doesn't want to live. She can imagine herself 
tomorrow with him in her life. Uh, she says she want to be with him. Uh, if he want to be with her, something like that. She want to be with. Uh, she want him to be with her. Uh, so yes. <laughs> It was so beautiful, I can't. It was so beautiful, guys. It was beautiful. You see that she's so happy for the pose and she's happy how much she helped her, how much she changed. I love that her life go well together so much. I was happy for that. You know what was beautiful? Sometimes you know already when the two couple gonna say yes, just like that cute couple. They tried to fool us a little bit, but I know they were already lovely though. They were gonna make it. But I wasn't sure about Midori. I wasn't sure about Midori also. When she said that she spoiled her feeling, oh my god, Watori was about to cry. He just took him with arms, he hugged her, he kissed her, and he lifted her up. Oh, uh, everybody was happy, her parents happy, her friends happy. It's like it was such a beautiful moment, such a unique. I was so happy, guys. I am so happy. This probably the feeling. I don't feel this feeling often when when it come. I'm always thankful. <laughs> I just love it. They are so beautiful together. I'm happy she chose him. I'm happy she came to the decision on her own without feel like pressure and everything. And the look, her life seems to complement each other so well. She knows that she want to be with him. I love that. And they show three months after the wedding. They just show the different couple. So I love that. And they have after the wedding, they have like a small gallery between the two couples. And you can see like they're talking about like their life after three months, like what they're doing daily. And they say they still haven't registered the wedding. They haven't registered the show, uh, the wedding yet after three months because they couldn't support the show. They filmed the show last year and they don't want people like to know about that. Um, Yotaro and, Mi and Mitomi, they do the thing, you know. They both dye their hair. <laughs> oh, they look like this. Flashy <laughs> young couple, and I love how Midori and Watari look together. Compliment each other, it's like best friend and lover at the same time. So I'm, I'm glad that after three months, they're still going strong. You can even see the expression how they like together, they are holding her, they have no skinship. I love that, and I say every time I'm sad. Every time I have a, like a moment I feel down, I will go back and watch that video. I'm just like, I'm that person, you know. I'm the person, I have good day and I have bad day. And the day that I don't feel so happy, I will go back and watch a video that make me happy. <laughs> and get some kind of happiness and keep going with life. And we didn't, they show her um, Midori and Watari uh, walking the dog. Just spend time together as a married couple, doing their own things. And also they show all the friendship that were born and they gave us a glance of what of the other couple who didn't make it. Friendship was born between Minami and Nana. Yeah, they just do it, exercise together at the park. And we have Mui. Mui is the doctor. He just keep walking, you see that. Uh, Mida, Mido, uh, Minami and her personality crash. So, so the personality didn't match, that's why they couldn't make it. And uh, he said, right now he's a working employee, but he would love to own his own business later. They show Kayori, Kayori, she's continuing making more music during the summer when they film Love is Blind, and now it's like almost Christmas season, making some Christmas songs. And they saw Misaki. I said Misaki had a glow up. He lets his hair go, you know, the Kenya best book coach. He's just doing his thing as well. Um, I forgot his name. They show him. He started like his own online business. He's making like pudding. He's selling online. So I like how he's doing his own thing. I feel like. I'm not gonna judge Priyanka, you know, everybody has his life and his own goal. I, they were both young, 
they are born like still figure out what to do i kind of feel oh why did she let him go so easily over that he's still working so hard and now he has his own small business and i'm pretty sure he's gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going life they show priyanka as well they're developing a new product she's an entrepreneur they're taking pictures to sell the new makeup online so they show iona living her best life she's taking a walk in the back <laughs> iona's still gonna be iona <laughs> she said the person didn't change her that much she's still doing her life <laughs> and they show shintaro shintaro spend time with his friends they're going to all those that guy trees still like taking pictures of the food and posting online. They look happy, they look all happy. So every one of them living the best life. The person allow them to have some friendship. Um, that will probably last for a lifetime, you know. So I love that. So that's pretty much what happened. I'm so happy I recap love is Plan Japan. It was such a great experiment. This is the last video. And I enjoy. I can wait for season two. Can we have Love is Blind Korean? I want to watch everything. Maybe Love is Blind Korean. We have single friend, but I want something else. So from now, I'm so glad. This, this show gave me so much fear. I can't wait to be happy. I can't wait for you to watch it and for you to enjoy it with me. Thank you so much, guys, for this great experience. Hopefully, peace like my video please subscribe hopefully youtube will recommend this video to you as well thank you so much guys